Also tonight, the learning loss among students. The MCAS scores just out show how much they dropped during the pandemic. Now, this was not a total surprise after a year of remote and hybrid learning, but it's also not a good sign. Yeah, it seems like the biggest problem appeared to be in math. For both 10th graders and 3rd graders, the math scores from the spring of 2021 dropped significantly from two years ago. 3rd grade scores falling 16%. WBZ's Louisa Muller's live force in Watertown tonight. Louisa, the score is certainly concerning. Yeah, David, Lisa, remember, in 2020, there were no MCAS exams. And then last spring, about 85% of students took the exams in person, but 15% were still remote. And now the question for educators is, how do you take this information and get kids back on track? Like the process from, from the living room was not the same experience as being in a classroom. Noria Lee's De Jesus' daughter took the 2021 MCAS at a makeshift desk in her Chelsea home. But De Jesus, who works at the social services group La Collaborativa, knows other kids in Chelsea had it much worse. Many of them come with layers of trauma from, you know, unemployment and not having food on the table and uh, harassment from landlords. On Tuesday, the state released scores from the standardized test, which was administered last spring. And the impact of the pandemic is apparent, most notably in math. 33% of students in grades 3 through 8 either met or exceeded expectations on the math portion in 2021. That's compared to 49% of students in 2019. In English language arts, there was a 6% drop between 2019 and this spring. The results similar for 10th grade students. 59% met or exceeded expectations in math back in 2019. That number down to 52% this year. There have been several national studies that have already been done on the learning loss that was borne by kids across the country uh, during the course of the COVID pandemic, primarily as a result of the loss of in-person learning, and Massachusetts was no exception to that. Governor Charlie Baker told reporters the test results track with national trends and are an important metric to monitor student learning. But Lisa Gisbond, who's advocating for the end of the MCAS, says the test was an unnecessary burden on kids during a pandemic. Why are we still wedded to this high stakes testing regime that we've had for more than two decades and hasn't closed achievement gaps? Parents will receive their child's MCAS scores after September 30th. Live in Watertown, Louisa Moeller, WBC News.